Why, hello there everyone, I'm the Kumo Sensei, and today we're talking about the Game Awards for 2022, and specifically we're talking about the Bill Clinton kid and whatnot. I find this dude to be pretty interesting, because he's pretty much, he is a troll by the way, for those who are wondering, and yeah, some things came out about him and whatnot, so without further ado, let us talk about him, and yeah, let us get into it. So everyone, this is Jeff Keighley's official Twitter account. The individual who interrupted our Game of the Year moment has been arrested which he's referring to the Bill Clinton kid, and you can see there are memes going on about it here and whatnot. <laughs> he, yeah, this guy's an absolute troll, this kid and whatnot. And I believe he's been doing this for a while now, since 2019, as far back as people can date, with the free Hong Kong got blizzard and whatnot. And there was an article on Forbes talking about this. So yeah, guys, we're on Forbes right now, and I know this is kind of small to read, but let me read it for you. Here's what we believe we know about this kid and what he was doing there. Though I'll refrain from posting his name as he appears to be a minor. So basically, this guy's a minor who's do who's basically a troll that's trying to do this for, you know, become a, a meme or something. I really don't know. A Twitter account appeared to belong to the kid has posted about the interruption, taking credit. It's an old account tied to his past online activities, which is mainly protesting police brutality and government oppression in Hong Kong. Previously, this kid did something similar in 2019 at BlizzCon, where he interrupted a World of Warcraft panel by shouting, Free Hong Kong, that is documented on the same Twitter account. Also, in 2019, he was on TV at a Clippers game, holding up a Hong Kong shirt that the cameraman had to pan away from. So basically, this kid is infamous for being a political troll, you could say. Honestly, I don't have any sympathy for this guy because he pretty much knew what he was getting into, especially with the Bill Clinton. Uh... <laughs> yeah, this guy is pretty much an idiot. So I feel like this guy knew what he was getting into, and this guy is a complete idiot, or this kid, to be honest, because uh, he appears to be a minor. I hope he isn't, because if he was an adult, this guy would have been in jail. I don't want to give this guy credit for, like, the most memorable thing at the Game Awards, because I do want to give credit what credit is due, but I'll save that towards the end. And also, my last comments on this kid, because I don't want to give this kid too much attention if this is a minor. I feel like most people end up where they belong. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy ends up flipping burgers or, you know, painting somebody's house or something in the future. Because this guy, or this kid, is basically ruining his own future by becoming a meme. I don't know, because like, memes are pretty short-lived. Even though they're on the internet forever, memes come and go pretty much daily now at this point. But yeah everyone, I do want to give credit what credit is due, especially Game of the Year to Elden Ring. Which is actually surprising, but in a way it's a good thing, because I don't really mind it. A lot of people wanted God of War Ragnarok to be, you know, Game of the Year for 2022. But to be fair, they already won like, I don't know how many awards, they won a lot already, so I think it is fair to give it, you know, to Elden Ring as well, because Elden Ring, man, that game was talking for a long time, especially the speedrunning as well. <laughs> but without further ado, everyone, yeah, I just want to talk about this and keep this one short, and uh, yeah, with that, that's really about it. See you.